Hey guys, welcome to another week of Ninja Tricks. I'm Coach Sean, and this is Assistant Super Garrett. Assistant Garrett. All right, so as you see, we're outside again. It's a beautiful day. Breathing in the fresh air. And I think we're gonna use nature again for our uh, Ninja Tricks video. What do you say about that? Yeah. Using some nature. Because nature is one of our best obstacles that we face. So um, we're just standing here. We're actually gonna make sure we have a nice five by five mile area cleared away. Not five by five miles. No? No, we're not doing miles. I think we got like five miles each way that we can go. What do you think? Oh, okay. All right, so make sure you have a five foot by five foot area, especially if you're inside, if you're outside. Make sure you're nice and cleared out area. Like, this tree might hit me in the head a little bit, but I think we're okay. Um, also, make sure you have a parent or guardian's permission to do anything we do in this video. Uh, we're going to be doing some, uh, a little bit more dangerous stuff. Uh, it's not uncalled for, it's not cra that crazy, but uh, you could get hurt and have a parent or guardian around, as well as their permission. All right. So first things first, we're going to do some stretching. All right, so Garrett thinks we should do some shoulder rolls. This is especially good to loosen up that back. Uh, yeah, I love doing this in the morning when we wake up. I'm just stretching the back. Exactly. We're gonna reach down, try to touch our toes. We're gonna do the traditional style for now. Alright? Try to keep that back. Don't bend that back too much. Just try to reach your toes. If you can't get all the way, that's okay. I can't. I'm gonna take off my hat so you can actually see my face. So I'm actually Trying to touch my toes, I feel that stretch right here. Sometimes you can actually bend the knees a little bit and then go up. And then we're gonna take our arms, stretch them wide, and reach for the opposite foot, come up. This is a good overall stretch right here. Uh, it's stretching your whole body, gets your, your body moving. I really like stretches that involve you just moving because uh, static stretches are okay especially when you're just kind of just chilling relaxing doing some yoga yoga is fantastic uh, but even in yoga you do a lot of movement stretches like you're, you're doing the warrior pose you do the uh, upward dog or downward facing dog and then what's up dog I don't know not too much how you doing all right, and now we're gonna do some neck rolls. Big neck rolls here. Neck rolls the other way. Ah. All right, we're gonna do some wrist rolls here. We're actually gonna get down on the, the ground a second. I'm gonna adjust this camera so we can see ourselves. All right, bringing this down. We're actually gonna get down on the ground. And I want you to take your, your hands, your wrists, turn them backwards and then put them down. Did you notice I'm doing this in the grass? Okay. Kind of just rocking it back and forth, feeling. It is a little bit wet. All right, so now, while we're down here, we're gonna do some downward facing dogs like we were talking about. So, downward facing dog, yeah. you kinda want your butt up in the air 
and your head facing down, your back straight. Walk the dog, feels good. Walk the dog, kind of stretches out those calves. Now we're just gonna go right into Cobra. So this is good for stretching out that back. Or you can call us the cat. The cat? Whoa. Our cat would probably do this. Speaking of, we'll do some cat cows. So we're gonna go kind of like this, stretch your head back up, and do a cow. Boom. Stretch your back up. Boom. Cat. Cow. Boom. Now, while we're here, we're gonna do fire hydrants. So fire hydrants, you just lift up your leg. They call it fire hydrant. You just Dogs pee on fire hydrants, they lift up their leg up pee on them. We're gonna do a couple more on this side. So like five per side. And do the other side. So when you're doing a fire fire hydrant, I want your knees on the ground in like a all fours position, tabletop, and we're gonna do the other side. Alright? I want you to bring that leg straight out, just like that. Yeah? Just like you're peeing. Pee. Do a few more, two, three, four, and five. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of warm up here. So we're gonna stand up. I'm gonna face this up a little bit so that we can see you again. Just this a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do a little warm up here. And I'm just gonna, can't even see Garrett. Grow a little bit, huh? All right, so we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Our cat is just watching us through the video. Or one of our cats is just watching us. Right in place. One of our cats is just watching us through the video. That she is, she's watching us. Jump back and forth, hop back and forth, side to side. Back and forth again. Now we're gonna get down to the ground again. We're gonna do, raise one hand up like this. And then go to the other side. So these are all practical movements. Nice and beautiful outside. Love this weather. Go to the other side again. Now we're gonna do a kneeling lunge. So your, your knees are both down. Kind of stretch that area right here. It's a good warm up. Here it's gonna play with the grass. It's okay, play with the grass. Feel one with nature. Ground yourself. Grounding yourself. Why do they call it grounding? Because literally you're on the ground. Touching nature good. Sometimes I like to just lay in the grass and let the ants crawl on me or bugs or whatever. Stare up at the sky. I just have an envision of like a hundred ants. Alright, now we're to finish this off, we're going to do some knees and out. One side for now. Open, Open the gates. And then we'll go the other side. If you've been doing both sides, that's fine. Just keep doing both sides. And then we're gonna close the gate, apparently. So out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, and one more, out to in. So the other side, out to in, out to in, out to in, out to in, and out to in. All right, that's it for our stretching warm-ups. Let's move on to uh, some fun stuff, all right? All right, guys. So I'm standing underneath this tree because we're gonna use this for our, our karate skill. It's, uh, it's actually, 
All right, I'm standing underneath this tree because we're gonna be using this for our karate skill. You can see Garrett for a second there. He was actually doing the karate skill. And you can do this with a tree or some kind of bush or just don't bonk your head. Um, Well, first, we're gonna learn what it is. So, first, we're gonna be doing yeah. a dodge. So it's a, it's a, it's more of a boxing skill. You duck underneath and come to the other side. You duck underneath, and come to the other side. All right. So let's just pretend this is an arm trying to punch it. Right. So that's an arm trying, right there. We're trying to duck under and pick it. Right. So first rule of Martial arts is when your self-defense is get out of the way. So this actually incorporates that use. Uh, it also, if you notice, he's doing a palm strike. So he's gonna hit with his palm. Don't wanna hit a tree with your hand. Don't wanna hit stuff that is hard with your hand. Especially like skulls. Uh, they're actually very hard. So, um, right, so again, be careful. Like I said, this this is uh, a skill that could get you hurt. Most likely it won't, but be careful. Have a parent or guardian's permission or an older sibling. All right, so if you're watching, she's, she's ducking under. She's moving to the other side. Don't lean forward into it. You want, don't want, that's one nice thing is that you can't lean forward into this because then you'll still bonk your head. And just like in real martial arts or fighting, you will get your face hit if you do uh, duck forward. So now Garrett is leaning back, which you don't want to do either. You want to do a squat. So you want to bring your legs down and bring it over. Bring it down and bring it over. You see me bending at the knees? Bring it down, bring it over, bring it down, bring it over. And you see he's striking, striking the, the tree right there. All right. So we're gonna actually do a little demonstration of what this does, all right? So in boxing, or even in martial arts, you wanna get out of the way. So I'm gonna punch him, he's gonna duck, and he's gonna come over to the other side and smack me in the face. Ready? Duck and smack, all right? So over here again, he's gonna duck underneath it. Whoa, boom, all right? He doesn't wanna hit me in the face, of course being careful uh, so again Garrett you try to hit me in the face so I'm gonna duck underneath it and then boom you see that punch and then boom or boom and then boom so that that is the purpose of this karate skill it's actually uh, you see boxers do it a lot they're they're what ducking if, and weaving what all if right they, what if they duck so you, that, that's, that's another thing is they can duck and weave back at you. Um, so it's, it's a duck and weave. It's a, you get duck and you, and it's also a great exercise because you're squatting. See my legs, I'm squatting and I'm keeping, trying to keep my back straight, trying not to go forward into them. Uh, so that's today's karate skill. And we're going to actually move right on to our ninja trick skill. All right, guys, Garrett has a little special skill he wants to show you that he's especially good at. Um, take it from here, Garrett, go ahead. He is great at climbing trees. Now, again, like I said, disclaimer, don't climb a tree without parent or guardian's permission or without their um, them watching you because it can be dangerous. You can get hurt. If you fall down the tree, you can break your arm or much worse. So be careful when you climb trees, it hurts, but nature is our playground. That, that is part of Ninja Tricks is, it's not just, not exactly the safest thing in the world, but it's fun. Uh, you can do it outside in the trees. You can climb up trees and have some fun. If you noticed, Garrett pulled himself up and used his feet at the same time to get himself up there. So he's standing up in the tree now. Uh, so one thing you gotta do work, you gotta work on, like we worked on in previous videos, 
you want to work on that grip. You want to be able to pull yourself up and get yourself off that ground, all right? So working on your grip is very important to be able to climb up trees. Uh, also, using your feet and having good shoes on to climb. Garrett's using Crocs right now. I don't know why he's using Crocs. But he's just can. Uh, I just broke off part of the tree. Oh no, it's free. Um, now, again, The hard, the hard part is getting down, so again, be careful climbing up trees. But if you notice when you climb a tree and you're lifting your legs up, what is this using? This is using your arms, your back muscles, and your, your core. So all these exercises and uh, workouts we do are very important because without them, uh, climbing a tree would be very hard, much harder than uh, it normal, normally would. And as you can see, Garrett was able to get up there using a combination of his arms, his feet, and his grip, and a little bit of flexibility, which is also why we stretch. So Garrett's kind of doing a little pirate pose now. All right, so now we're gonna watch Garrett get down. Garrett's gonna be very careful. He's gonna watch where his feet are going. Watch where his hands are going. He's going to place his hands in the proper places. And then slowly push himself down. If you notice, he's actually using his feet as well. He, remember those dips we did the other day? See, his hands are dipped. He's readjusting himself there. And deciding he wants to go, go at a different direction. It's good to try different positions like Garrett's doing right now. If you see his hands and feet, he's coming at it different ways so that uh, he doesn't get hurt. His stomach is against a little bit of a root there. And there you go. All right, guys, so I'm holding the camera right now because we're gonna do a little race. We're gonna race each other around our houses. So you're gonna race us around our house and I'm gonna race you around my house. And, so, um, I'm just gonna say that it is pretty dangerous to go down trees because um, I had this little thing over here and it scratched me when I got off the tree. So that's another reason why it's dangerous to go on the trees because that's why you need the supervision and the permission to do it because it's not the safest thing. All right, so. Um, I just want to say that my brain um, took a few seconds to calculate what to do. Because if I need to grab onto this tree branch over there, thinking right. that it support me. All right, we're on to the game now. Okay. We're going to race around the house and see who can be the fastest. I'm going to beat you. You're going to beat me? We're trying to beat them. But I'm also going to beat them. You're going to beat them? All right, we're gonna race right here to this tree. First one to touch the tree wins. So I want you to race around your house, find something to touch. And when I say ready, set, go. Faster. Oh no, he's tripping. Don't mind our sand piles of sand. You like playing in the sand? Building up sand piles. Oh, keep running. Oh, he's running. And he, woo. Ah. All right, did you guys win? Did you beat us? Do you think they beat us? Are you guys still going? You might have a bigger house than we do. But, all right. I think we should give him one more try. All right, catch your breath. Dream of uh, marshmallows no. and unicorns and you, you, you ready? Yep. You guys ready? All right, ready, set, go.
We're working on speed this month, so we must go fast. We must be fast. Run faster. Uh, I think Garrett beat me there. Um, so, did you win? Are you still running? I'll give you guys a second. If you are, keep running. All right, I think that was enough time. I hope you uh, enjoyed our little uh, Ninja Tricks video here. And uh, hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. Again, every Tuesday, uh, we have Ninja Tricks live at McCoy's Action Karate in Auburn, Massachusetts. At starting at 5.45 p.m. We're wearing masks, we're distancing, we're being safe, um, and we're having fun. And that's good, right? So, hope to see you guys next time, and take care. Bye.